good morning so i'm currently sat in little car park i'm just about to do my weekly shop which i will take you through when i get home and i will also take you through my meal plan for the coming week i've decided to start the video in here i'm not really sure why um it's 11 degrees which is quite cold compared to what it's been recently and it was absolutely hammering it down this morning and do you think either of the teenagers would take a coat or have a lift to school i've got a car sitting here i offered to take them to school no they want to walk i said make sure you take a coat no we don't need a coat so they've gone off and the rain's actually stopped now but it was absolutely teeming down so i'm absolutely drenched oscar's in school he's fine now so i'm just about to go and do my shopping i don't know if any of you have heard about it um there's a new little app which i haven't actually used yet but it's kind of like a loyalty card system where you can get money off and you can like get a discount on products and things so i'm going to go and try that out but i just thought it might make a little bit of a change to start the video in the car so i will go and do my shopping i'm not going to take you in because it's so busy and there's already loads of people looking at me like why are you filming in a car park so i'm going to go in i'm going to get my shopping and then i will take you through my meal plan for the coming week i'm just going to pop my mask on which obviously is french bulldog <laughs> i can't see if you know me then this won't be of any surprise that it's got little bulldogs on but yeah i'm gonna go and get my shopping and then i will be back and i'll let you know how much i spent hopefully not too much this week so i actually ended up buying absolutely loads in lidl but i didn't spend up to my full budget the reason i'm voiceover in this part is because i must have got something in the mic on the camera because the sound messes up but it does clear up for the rest of the video so I actually had kale on my list because we're going to be doing a steak and baked kale like dinner. We're doing low carb at the moment and I'm doing a video for you guys that want it. It goes really nice and crunchy when you do it in the oven. So I got two of those 39p each which was really good. Some baby plum tomatoes, some white onions or brown onions. These were on offer as well. I think this is like 39p. Oh, a lot of their fruit and veg was on offer this week. Two broccoli, they were 69p each and they're really big ones as well. I got two lots of closed cut mushrooms, cotton candy grapes, I got two of these. So we're popping up to see Steve's mum at the weekend, she's um, recently been in hospital for an operation. So I'm going to take her some grapes, I'm also going to take her some strawberries. I've got one for us and one for um, Steve's mum. And then I'm going to take her a melon as well because she asked for a melon. I've got some romaine lettuce hearts, two cucumbers, i got conference pears which were also on offer some Braeburn apples well <laughs> they're gonna go i got some spinach we've got a massive bag of baby leaf spinach and i think this was 59p one honeydew melon and i also got a big watermelon which was 199 some baby alexandra potatoes which were 89p i think and then a big bag of white potatoes there's two and a half kilos in here one pound five p so fruit and veg wise little are really doing good this week and i got quite a lot for my money is that it yeah i've got mushrooms hiding under there so i needed to stock up on some meats and things because we are completely out last night we ended up having like real freezer dive kind of meals so i got some pork lean mince to make a chili two of these lean pork medallions these were reduced to 70p each so i will just pop these in the freezer and then get them out i'll probably do them as like a slow cooked pulled pork just put them in the slow cooker with some barbecue sauce and shred them we can have those on buns or something or steve and i can have ours on like lettuce i've got some of these scotch what are they scotch beef steak quarter pounders you get six in here and they were 30 percent off so they were two pounds 79 for six sorry oh, seriously hobbs like this is what the noise is in the background could you please get your head ow ow come out come out what are you doing honestly it's like having kids at home the kids are at school and they're worse worse than children um these can just go in the freezer for another day sometimes i will make them into meatballs rather than burgers two smoked bass fillets because Steve and I really like yellow fish and I thought we'd try this. This was £2.29 for two. We can have that with some of the kale or some veg. Two lots of diced chicken breast, which today was £2.49. 
so it's a really good price and it's already cut so I don't have to do anything with it which is great got two ba two packs of smoked bat bacon again was on offer you get 20 slices um, and I think it's £2.59 which is what I normally pay when I get 16 slices I got a small gammon joint so I'm going to do a midweek roast for the boys and chicken fire fillets because again they were on offer I think they were 25% off so yeah a lot of Lidl's fruit and veg and a lot of their meat is on good offers at the moment I just realised I didn't show you these I got two lots of munch too and some sugar snap peas this is by request of Oscar so what we do is we put them in a bowl and we put some balsamic vinegar and a little sprinkling of salt on them and he'll just sit and eat those as a snack so I got some of those for him and um, the other two sort of meat things I got I got a pack of these sweet chilli sausages and a pack of what are these honey and mustard yeah and they were reduced from they were reduced from £1.99 down to £1.39. Again, they'll just do for like breakfast at the weekend or I can pop them in the freezer and make toad in the hole. I also got some corn pieces because we're trying to eat a little bit less meat, even though I've just bought a load of meat. Um, Steve and I are really enjoying our corn at the moment and the boys really like it as well. Sometimes I make like a smoked paprika chilli, which is really good. So I've got two lots of that. So um, broccoli florets, even though I got two fresh broccoli, I like to have frozen broccoli in the freezer because it's just handy to have when you've run out of any other veg. I've got some frozen fish fingers, I'm going to be doing the boys some like fish finger sandwiches. I've got some peas because we were out of peas and the only other frozen thing I got was some home style chips. Sandwich meat wise, I just got one pack of roast chicken, I got one pack of gouda cheese slices and also one pack of mild pepperoni. These are for subways, I'm going to do like homemade subs for the boys at the weekend. I also got some quark this week because quark, 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 <laughs> got some of this because um, it's fat free soft cheese and I'm going to make like a peppered mushroom sauce to go with our steak and our kale so I thought that would be really nice. If you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I've just recently got on the Fabulosa train. <laughs> I've only just discovered these products. Why? I don't know. Um, I've had the aerosols, like the spray for the bathroom, but I've not, I didn't realise they actually did like a like counter spray, disinfectant. You know what I mean, like a kitchen spray. So I bought two the other day, because in Lidl at the moment, these are 99p. Um, this one's Wild Rhubarb, this one's Electrify. And this one, which I absolutely love, how autumn-y is that? Look, are the little foxes, I don't know if you can see them, little foxes and little hedgehogs and little owls. I mean, this one I just want to buy for the bottle alone. It just, that makes me all kinds of happy. Um, this is Woodland Pine, and these are 99p at the moment. So I thought I'd stock up because they're normally 149, but compared to some of the more popular brands, they smell amazing. They kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses, and they're cheap so you know I think it's really really good so I got those three plus I got two the other day so I'm nice and stocked up on those and comment down below and let me know about any other ones I need to hunt for um one lady on Instagram said they do a miniature aerosol that she takes to like soft plays and things to disinfect things like when she goes to places like that somebody else said they do a gold touch one and I know that someone's mentioned a coconut one so I need to know where do I get these things and what's worth getting I know some people talked about a carpet foam we don't actually have carpet down here. We have some upstairs, but I don't know. Just let me know all your fabulous products. Let me know where I can get them, and I'll be off finding them. <laughs> Got some sponges. Just boring stuff. A deodorant. This one's actually really good. Um, like, sometimes I buy Shure and that, but this is 65p, and it's an invisible one, so it smells nice. It doesn't, you know, it works, and it doesn't need white marks. I got a hand wash to refill my soap dispenser i picked up a pink surf which i think is the tropical one and then it was 2.99 and then when i went around the corner they were doing this one which is herbal extracts and this was 2.99 but they were doing two for four pound so that's a really good price for 25 washes and i find i don't always need fabric conditioner with these either right so i've come around this side i got a self-raising flower the boys have asked for some waffles at the weekend i've got a feeling i needed plain for that but it doesn't really matter does it um, just some dog treats because we're completely out. Some black peppercorns, like I'm hoping that's in a grinder. Oh, ceramic grinder, yeah. I just suddenly thought I haven't got a grinder, so yeah, that's good. Four tins of tuna in spring water. They didn't have any in brine, so I got those. Four tins of peeled plum tomatoes. Two chilli mixes because I'm going to make a nice big chilli. I've got a sage and onion stuffing to add to a chicken stew. Um, 
spoiling the bag rice because no matter what you guys thank you so much like hundreds of you have messaged and said how to cook rice and i've tried pretty much every method and i'm still rubbish so until i get a rice cooker i'm just gonna buy the boil in the bag because i just can't do it i don't know no matter what i try can't do it two double strength squash one is apple and black currant and one is orange no added sugar three lots of the noodles some tortilla wraps some sandwich thins, these are like Oscar's favourite for lunches. They don't do the Subway rolls I like in Lidl and I was not going to Tesco just to buy rolls. So I got some of these luxury brioche hot dog rolls and I can just slice them open, put the fillings in, put them in the oven and then close them up and they'll be like subs anyway. Oh, Hobbs, he's thirsty. I got two Hobbes best of both bread. I got some breakfast biscuits, these are the ones with the chocolate in the middle. Some caramel biscuits, which are basically like Twix, aren't they? Got five, five of those. Some wine gums, some midget gems and some jelly beans. A little really good for things like this. Um, midget gems are quite cheap everywhere, but wine gums are like 49p. And I think the jelly beans were like 80p, something like that. And I just mix them up at the weekend if we watch a film. They were doing some Seabrook crisps, six bags for 99p. So I got one prawn cocktail. I got one fish and chips, which when I thought about it later on, fish and chips is probably just salt and vinegar, isn't it? So they had salt and vinegar and they had fish and chips. And I'm like, are they going to taste of fish? No, they're not. Let's have a look what they're going to taste of. What does it even say? Fish and chip flavour crisps. I don't know. I'm assuming they're just going to taste like salt and vinegar, aren't they? But they might have a fishy taste, but then I don't know. That will be nice and crisps anyway. <laughs> boys, I'm sure the boys will like them. And then they're doing Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. So I've got six of those as well. I got some Carte Noir um, Lungo Classique number six. That's for the Nespresso machine. These are only one ninety nine. So if you've got an espresso machine, you get ten of those. And we really like Carte Noir coffee. And then I've got two lots of toilet rolls because I wanted to buy the one pack of 18. They do like a big pink pack. Um, and they haven't got any sold out so I'm hoping that is not the beginning of the toilet roll panic going please guys don't panic by toilet roll we really don't need to you know it's not going anywhere and look what happened last time we all ended up hundreds of it <laughs> for months so that is everything I normally budget for around 120 pound this week I actually spent 96 pound 49p I did swipe my um, phone for the app and I'm not sure I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm supposed to get five pound off, but I didn't. But I think maybe that's because I hadn't clicked on the use my five pound voucher. But you know what it's like in Lidl where they're throwing stuff at you as it comes off the like conveyor belt. Conveyor belt? Yeah, as it comes off and you just haven't got time to be going through your phone looking at stuff. So I'll leave that for another day. So I've now got the joy of finding homes for all of this. And then I will take you through my meal plan for next week. So here is my meal plan for the coming week. So it's not in any particular order. I try and stick to it this way around, but if we fancy something different on another day, then I'll just change it up. So today is Thursday. I'm gonna make a big chili and rice, and Steve and I can have that with cauliflower rice. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to do the boys' homemade subways for like movie night, and Steve and I are gonna have steak with roasted kale or baked kale and a peppercorn and mushroom sauce. On Saturday, I'm gonna do fish finger sandwiches with chips and salad for the boys. And then some smoked fish and roast veg for Steve and I. Sunday, possibly the gammon roast. On Monday, I'm going to make a Chinese chicken curry. I was hoping to pop to Iceland and get hold of some of the Mayflower curry sauce because we've been using the goldfish one for ages and I just fancy a change. So I'm going to look out for some of that because they do a hot one as well. On a Tuesday, we're going to do jacket potatoes done in the oven and like um, help yourself kind of jacket potato board basically so I'll just put out tuna I'll put out cheese lots of salads pickles gherkins that kind of thing and then everyone can kind of build their own I could always do some beans and some chopped ham as well and then on Wednesday I'm going to leave it for leftovers stroke freezer dive we've got a chest freezer in the conservatory and I'm literally going to dive through it and pick out some bits that we need to use up so that is everything. That is my meal plan for the coming week. So that is it for this week. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do like this kind of content, I do one of these every single week. I also do what's for dinner and family meal ideas. I do cook with me's, shop with me's, hauls, reviews, all that kind of thing, plus our family vlogs. So make sure you go and subscribe. Check out the playlist down below because they're all linked down there, all my previous videos, and we're almost on like number 100, I think. So if you want something to watch, go back and check those out. 
give it a thumbs up and I'll be back really soon with another video. Take care guys. This is what we waited for.